Hi everyone, this is Brian with Obedia, and here's a tip for Persona Studio One version 3. You may have noticed that in Studio One 3, the new plugins included with Studio One have these awesome uh, little thumbnails that you can use to browse your plugins, but you'll also notice that a lot of your other plugins aren't going to have those thumbnails. The good news is you can actually cause for all of your plugins to have those thumbnails. So let's go ahead and use Tune Track Easy Drummer here. I'm going to add it to a track and go ahead and replace the instrument that I had on there. And then when Easy Drummer opens up, I'm going to first want to take a look at the interface inside of Easy Drummer. And I'm going to take a look right up here at this little arrow just to the right of the text that says Easy Drummer. Click on that. And from the pop down, I'm going to select Update Plugin Thumbnail. Now you're going to find that I have a thumbnail that looks just like Easy Drummer. And I can repeat this for all of my plugins uh, in Studio One 3 and effectively give myself those cool thumbnails for all of my plugins in Studio One 3. Now, some plugins may not work for this, and that just kind of depends on the plugin. Uh, and so you'll want to experiment a little bit and see which plugins work for this and which ones do not. But from what I've seen so far, most plugins are working. So super easy trick and tip for you today in Studio One 3 from us here at Obedia. If you guys have any more questions, if you want to get to know Studio One 3, call us at Obedia. Work seven days a week with a Studio One Pro just like myself. We will help you to get the most out of your Persona's hardware and software because that's what we do best here at Obedia. As always, guys, I'm Brian with Obedia, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Have a great day. Happy music making to you, and take care.